In the past few decades, movies have all too often relied on CGI to pull off otherwise expensive and complex effects. And no genre has suffered worse than horror, with computer-generated blood and fake-looking creatures pulling audiences right out of the picture. How hard is it to find a real-life goblin to stand in for you these days, Jesus? But on rare occasion, we do still get delicious treats in the form of realistic, horrifying and downright weird practical effects, even if they are supplemented by the odd bit of computer magic. Better yet, there's movies that step away from effects entirely, not giving in to the temptation of CGI by crafting taut, psychological narratives that stand strong away from the supernatural. So, as the plague of pixels has taken hold in recent years, we too will look at movies from 2000 onwards that resisted using overwhelming amounts of computer help, keeping digital fiddling to a minimum in favour of all too real terror instead. Oh, how ironic we're doing this through a screen. I am the flesh and blood Ash from What Culture, and these are 10 awesome horror films that didn't rely on CGI. 10. Slither, 2006. A lot of films on this list pay homage to classic horror films of earlier decades that did practical horror like no other, and James Gunn's gory monster flick is no exception. Everything from David Cronenberg's They Came From Within to Fred Decker's underrated Night of the Creeps is lovingly referenced. As a result, the plot is hardly original, but the creature design certainly is. After a meteor crashes and infects a never better Michael Rooker with an alien slug that craves raw meat, he sets about wreaking havoc on the small town as he begins to grotesquely transform into a monstrous, tentacle creature. From a woman force-fed meat until she is a giant ball of flesh, to Rooker disemboweling a local policeman with the swipe of a tentacle. Nothing is off the table here. Years before Gunn made the leap to the MCU and fresh out of the trauma school of film, Slither has the kind of tongue-in-cheek fun genre fans can get behind. And the impetus is very much on more practical than digitally faked effects. 9. The House of the Devil, 2009 why on earth would someone inflict CGI on a film that is essentially the ultimate love letter to 80s horror? Feathered hair and nerves about the satanic panic included. Amazingly, not only does the film require no CGI, director Ty West manages to create an atmosphere of eerie dread for a good hour in which very little happens. As Samantha desperately takes a babysitting job for extra cash, she finds herself hired to stay in a seemingly empty house for the night with only one rule. Don't go into the attic, where the bizarrely friendly owner's ailing stepmother resides. The film slowly builds up tension in the most base of ways. Samantha spends much of the film wondering about the house, the audience waiting for the worst to occur. And oh boy, when it does, the film suddenly explodes into gory terror. What is especially clever is how little Wes spells things out for the audience, knowing diehard fans will be familiar with the motives behind the creepy goings-on. 8. The Invitation, 2015 Karen Kasama's horror drama starts out innocent enough, with a young couple, Will and Kira, mysteriously invited to Will's ex-wife's party with her new husband. That sounds horrifyingly awkward enough, for starters. Will is understandably naturally reluctant, but attends anyway to see a friend group neither him nor his ex-wife have seen in over two years. Whilst initially uncomfortable, he grows even more uneasy when a few strangers show up, and it gradually becomes clear that his former love has become involved with some strange pastimes in her absence. There's simply no CGI here because the film isn't one built on monsters, maggots, mangy mutts, or anything else beginning with M that isn't just sheer, wiry tension. Instead, focusing with laser point precision on character and a mysterious party vibe. Will's paranoia as to what's going on underneath all the whining and dining is most expertly focused upon, capitalizing on that horrible, anxious place where you're never sure if he's going around the bend or if his accusations are right. There's a big old reveal of events, of course, and then all becomes clear. 7. The Autopsy of Jane Doe, 2016 Andre Overdoll's American debut is a stark, terrifying reminder that you don't need that many practical effects to up the creep factor. The villain of the picture is little more than a naked corpse, autopsied by father and son Brian Cox and Emil Hirsch. It is the chemistry, quite literally sometimes, between father and son that bring terror to the forefront. As the autopsy gets more gruesome, strange things begin to occur around the basement funeral home. Though the expected gore that comes with dissecting a human body is difficult to watch, even the most disturbing things in the film are mostly just implied. A body who suffered a shotgun to the face, for instance, lingers under a sheet nearby, seemingly guaranteed to reanimate. 
but we barely catch a glimpse of it, rather focusing on the psychological terror the two very alive men experience. If you want a CGI-less experience in terror, you're not going to get much better. 6. You're Next 2011 Adam Wingard and Simon Barrett have been at the forefront of new horror for the past decade, making early splashes on the indie scene with The Horrible Way to Die, and Wingard is about to leap into CGI land with King Kong vs. Godzilla. But before that, the two directed and wrote respectively this excellent home invasion slasher that behaves like a gory home alone on steroids. When Erin travels with boyfriend Crispin to meet his extended family in a remote country home, tensions are already high due to a lingering sibling rivalry. It only gets worse when an arrow sails through the forehead of one of the guests. Typical. You can tell Wingard and company have great respect for old-school horror just from the casting alone, with reanimators Barbara Crampton as the family matriarch. It is surprisingly funny thanks to improvised bickering between the cast, and its third-act twists are as unexpected as they are amusing. 5. Eden Lake 2008 Some horror films don't require much more than a few retractable blades and some well-placed performances. Like The Strangers and The Children, Eden Lake works because of the slow-building tension that eventually boils over into a nerve-wracking game of cat and mouse. Survival horror is a subgenre that relies on character, not spectacle, and Eden Lake has the former in spades. A young couple are vacationing at the titular lake when they run afoul of some local children who start with mild harassment and pranks. Then they turn vicious. And when I say vicious, I mean really, really vicious. The makeup work that goes into the particularly heinous injuries is particularly impressive. Kelly Riley is incredibly good in the leading role, and the film's infuriatingly nihilistic ending will leave you thoroughly chilled. 4. The Hallow 2015 Moving to a remote little house in Ireland on the edge of a spectacular forest sounds like a dream to some. That's what Adam and Claire think when they take their baby son Finn to their new home at least, where Adam intends to take samples for his conservationist work and have a lovely time getting it on with nature. Only, their dream soon turns into a nightmare when it turns out that the forest is owned by supernatural creatures that want nothing to do with trespassers on their land. Cue an unrelenting hour and a half of the young family getting terrorized by practically created fey folk who consider trespassing a refundable option, breaking into Adam and Claire's house to terrorize them as they see fit. There's a small amount of CGI that runs through the hallow, but it's nowhere near reliant on the technology, instead using it to mildly enhance the practical bodies underneath. Tasteful, if nothing else. 3. Late Phases 2014 It is essentially impossible to top the practical werewolf transformation scenes of an American werewolf in London, or even the howling. The former is terrifying as well as heartbreaking, with audiences feeling every ounce of pain the lead character is suffering. The latter is just downright nightmarish, with a deranged serial killer becoming something so, so much worse. In recent years, however, Late Phases comes the closest. Starring Nick DiMici as a blind Vietnam veteran forced into a retirement community, his neighbors are being picked off one by one, with this underrated comic thriller having a lot of fun in its creature design. The transformation, created by big bad makeup artist Robert Kurtzman, took two full days. Originally intended to be done with several cameras and edited to appear as one shot, the rig just wouldn't work correctly, and so we were gifted with this instead. Late Phases gets nothing but late praises from me. 2. Splinter 2008 A spiny parasite is set loose and goes wild on a collective group of people stuck in a gas station, taking over their bodies and just about everything else it comes into contact with to turn them into big, fungal piles of the titular splinters. And oh boy, does the parasite not go easy on anyone it can get its icky spines into, making for some disgustingly realistic snaps and cracks as limbs are repurposed to sickeningly effective fashion. Splinter knows exactly what it's doing when it comes to gross-out horror, and uses jaw-droppingly impressive practical effects to do so despite the small budget it was made on. It doesn't take itself incredibly seriously and throws in some actual smart characters for the most part, knowing what it has to offer an audience, but does so with such gory eagerness you won't be entirely sure if you want it. 1. The Void 2016 Underrated to hell and back since its release in 2016, The Void is a masterclass in practical effects, 80s inspiration, and good old-fashioned terror, bringing all three in spades in this wonderful mixing pot of weirdness. When a police officer takes an injured man to a nearby hospital, one that is largely abandoned from a recent fire, the meager staff force and patients are trapped by an insidious cult looming outside. 
And on the inside, things go from bad to worse when a fleshy abomination is let loose and everyone starts losing their minds. The Void really is a wonderful little movie that deserves more attention, offering all sorts of grisly scares in a setting that sees Carpenter and Lovecraftian influences come together in the most impressive of ways. If you want realistic, makeup studio developed monsters in place of computer imagery, then this is the ultimate in modern imaginings of retro effects. Treat yourself. And that's our list. What other awesome movies belong up here with these CGI list heroes? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. I've been Ash, and this has been What Culture. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and come back again soon for some more spine tingling horror content. Thanks for watching.